There are three rules when speedrunning the casino and Pokemon. Rule number one, get triple sevens. That's the max payout you can get from a single spin, 300 coins. You need around 30 of them, all in a row if you can, but realistically, you're not that good. Rule number two, don't get cherries. They only pay a max six coins, and every time you get a cherry bonus is time wasted that you could have used to get triple sevens. Remember, the run doesn't end until you get 9,999 coins. Rule number three, don't get tilted. If I see Pikachu's face when I need a seven one more time. Ah! Oh! Fuck you, slow bro. Fuck you. For the uninitiated, in this game, there's this region, which has this city, which has a game corner full of sad, degenerate gamblers. I would know. I was one of them. As a kid, I lost two things to these slot machines. Coins and time. Copious amounts of both. And 20... <laughs> years later, I'm back, ready to get as many coins as my coin case will carry, as quickly as possible, with nothing more than these 100 coins I found on the ground to start. How will I do it? Well, I know the secret. The secret is, what appears to be random at first has an underlying amount of skill involved. Case in point, the speedrun.com leaderboards for this category. Starting at 4th place, GZ comes in at just under an hour and 15 minutes. Significant jump to Pink Acid Boots at 55.12. Almost a 4 minute jump from there to Matt Smith who clocked in at 51.22. And just just when it starts to look like we've reached the limits of human ability, Rashmore 39.51. Almost half the time it took last place to finish. Clearly, Rashmore knows something here that the rest of them don't. But what? In his Run Submissions YouTube description, he says, The quickest way to build up coinage is of course to hit 300 plus payouts, so a fair amount of the run is trying to hit as many opportunities as you're given. I'm not BSing you, there really is a skill to slots. Take a look at this run. Couple of misclicks, because I'm not used to my new map keys. I accidentally accidentally hit caps lock somewhere during the run, which is what popped up at the bottom of the screen. Totally didn't show my frustration at all. LOL. And then this one. 1655 to 1718. My cat got himself stuck and I had to help him real quick so I had to step away. Ma note. Retime to 51 colon 22. These aren't the runs of true casino sweats, they're jokers. This run didn't even try to time things out correctly, they just spammed A the whole time. Now, obviously, it's not really that serious. No disrespect to the other runners, and who really cares about optimizing a meme run with five people on the leaderboard? But listen, this is more than just a dumb speed run. This is about bringing a powerful, unethical corporation, sell it on city game corner to justice. Anyone who couldn't afford a mere potion at the mart because they were bled dry by the crime syndicate known as Big Casino, this is for you. So naturally, the first place to start is by trying the run ourselves. Going into this first day, I didn't really have any stress to speak of. First, I did another review of Rauschmore's world record, noticing that he goes for the aforementioned hidden 100 coins at the beginning to get started, and I even picked the same machine that he did. The only real game plan I had was to mash A on the first two reels, hoping I could get two sevens to line up by chance, and then and try timing the last one. About midway through, I start to notice a pattern. Very dark, dark pattern. Fing slow, bro, bro. Slow, Every time I'm like one turn away from getting a seven, this f stares back at me, taunting me. At least the fact that I'm getting them is a sign that I'm already starting to get consistent, but I'm just off slightly. My first run finishes at one hour and three minutes. It's not something I could be super proud of, but we gotta start somewhere. Naturally, now that we have the foundation set, the next question is, how do we improve? I'll be honest, I've always been a work smarter, not harder type of guy. I was really hoping I could find some glitch, some bug in the code, anything that would give me a leg up on this run. Even the world record holder popped into chat saying, there's three randomized slot machines per seed that generate better luck, and I don't think yours are the same ones as my attempts. Hmm. I continue doing one more run. I keep this stuff in the back of my mind. My mind is so trained on the 777s that anytime I see an R, it's like, not seven, don't care. Oh my god. Give me all of those coins. My second run comes in at 5351, which is a decent improvement, but nowhere near the world record time. I call it for the day in terms of runs, but now is the time for research. I asked Rashmore himself for more information on this tippy game. He mentioned that the way he was able to find the lucky machines was just by straight up brute force testing every machine and seeing which ones felt better. I asked him, so I should look at all the machines until I find the one that seems to give more sevens on average, which he says, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> okay. Not the news I was hoping to hear. I wanted something that would let me do less work, not more. I continue doing more research. So I found this video from Mankey Might, which makes a pretty interesting discovery. I'm just gonna let him speak on it. So I checked all the machines and found out they had all the same pattern. So how could some machines have better odds? So apparently the order of these symbols isn't randomized and the guy uses a metronome to get triple sevens about 10 to 20% of the time. 
but this just feels way too slow for a speed run, especially because you have to enter and exit the machine every single time in order to get the symbols to line up correctly. But it's a potential lead, I suppose. Day two rolls around and I've got some work to do. I start stream and try out Rauschmore's strategy of searching for lucky machines. The only problem with this method is that there is no method. I'm just aimlessly walking around the casino, eyeballing and guessing whether a certain machine feels like it's getting more sevens than others. Now, I'm a numbers guy, and I know that if I wanted to do this scientifically, I would probably have to set up some kind of experiment in which I test out each machine for a set number of spins, recording the number of spins where seven shows up over the total amount of spins per machine, but I realize that kind of effort would take way too long to get a statistically significant result, and again, I want to work smarter, not harder. So I try Mankey Mites method of using a metronome to time the slots, but after a couple failed attempts, I start to get frustrated. That's when it hits me. Becoming the best Pokemon gambler in the world isn't about finding little tricks or hacking the casino. Sometimes, to get what you want in life, to be the best, there's no shortcuts. You just gotta put your f***ing head down and grind. I start out on a run, and within the first minute, I already get triple sevens. I start getting in the groove, and by 12 minutes in, I'm already at 3,000 coins. This pace, we've got world record in the bag. I'm feeling pretty confident, until this happens. The man himself, Rashmore, hopped into the chat, which throws me off to say the least. 10 more minutes pass, and my pace is starting to slip. I'm not even at 5,000 coins. The tilt is slowly starting to creep up on me, and Rashmore knows it. And then, all of a sudden, your boy starts getting dialed in. Triple seven, boom, triple seven, boom, triple seven, boom, all in less than a minute. Minute 30 comes in and I'm at 8,000 coins, which means I almost have 10 minutes to get seven more triple seven. I'm on world record pace, baby. And then something happens. I don't know if it's nerves or finger sweat, or carpal tunnel, but the juju is gone. I start missing the last seven after getting the first two lined up. Again, and again. I still have five minutes to get four more, and then Rauschmore says this. And I realize, with how much time it takes for each triple seven to pay out, world record isn't looking possible. I'm completely tilted, in my head, and off my game. I'm at 9,919 coins, which means all I need is one more bonus in the next 30 seconds. But my heart just isn't in it anymore. My confidence is shattered. Two minutes go by without a single Single bonus and I finish at a pathetic 4130. Still in denial about how tilted I am, I try one more run, but it's useless. I did not get much sleep that night. Day three comes around and things are different. It's strictly business and I'm going full fucking sweat. Once the run starts to slip off pace, I end it. No And after a couple runs, I start heating up. 10 minutes in and I'm already a third of the way there. Holy f At this pace, we'll clear world record by a couple minutes. Five minutes later, I'm at 5,000 coins. What the f But keeping it cool. Eyes on the prize. Rashmore stops by again to offer support. At 30 minutes, I only need four more bonuses in the next 10 minutes, and my mind is completely at peace. Nothing. Not the slow pokes, not chat, not even my IRL friends who are watching me run this the entire time, not believing there's actually any skill involved in this run, could break me. And at 35 minutes and 21 seconds, the world record is mine. It just goes to show you. Hard work and a clear mindset. That's all you need to be the best. Don't let anyone throw you off your game. Believe in yourself and you can accomplish any- Fuck yeah! We did it! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs>